Hey guys, today we're going to do 25 tips and tricks for the new mobile G5. Stay with me. So they're all going to range from beginner to intermediate to expert. So make sure you stay throughout the whole video. That way you don't miss uh, something that you might find very helpful. Go in to the settings option right here. And what we're gonna do is locate uh, display because we're gonna get the option on this phone right here. If you go into display, it'll allow us to actually uh, switch the display area right here. So as you can see, that just means that if you don't want that punch hole camera cut out to be showing, you can just go ahead and hit this option right here and now that punch hole cutout at the top is going to be actually um, so let's go into like uh, Instagram so you can see the it's giving us the top portion for notifications here and then the other half of the screen is for um, your media right here so if you want to go back into the other screen just go right here and then you can select the notch area to be back and you get that full area. I actually like that one a little bit better. Now the second tip is that you can actually go into the display area right here and then you can also um, change the color options here. So it says right here, cool colors. You could even make it more vivid, standard, or you can just customize it to your, tailor it to your own uh, eye comfort here. Um, I kind of like warmer, more vivid colors, so I'll leave it right there. Now the third tip that we're gonna talk about is the app tray option. So as you see, I'm swiping up. When you first get the phone, you won't have that option. So what you wanna do is long hold the screen, hit home settings, and click this option right here that says desktop mode. The top, top one is going to give you an app drawer. This is how it's going to look right here, the bottom one. When you first get the phone, you're not going to have um, anything right here. All your apps are going to be on the home screen, like an iPhone, and you'll have to swipe across like that. So if you don't want that option, just go into this desktop mode right here and click the top one. And basically, you're going to get that app draw where you can swipe up and all your apps are there instead of being on the main page. And then you can actually create, um, you know, widgets for your other uh, pages and stuff. So um, I like to keep, do a lot of notes. So I'd probably put this over here to the next page, you know, set that up and put all notes and then it'll have like your notes and stuff right there. Now, as you can see, I do have the buttons down here. A lot of people may not like those buttons. Maybe you want to use the navigation bar um, where it has the uh, gesture navigation. But one of the cool things about this bar right here is that you can make it to your own color. So you can change that to your own color right here. And it just gives you the option to choose a color that you so desire. I'm not sure wh which one. You I'm kind of liking this 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 teal color right here. It's like a green blue right there. So just put that there and then you could change it like that. And then you can change it to the gestures as well. So now you can see that little teal color at the bottom is still there. And now you can have that little teal color. And now this little option here down below that you see uh, is gonna be here. You can have your apps there, but you can actually use this little wheel to move between apps, which is kind of cool. So it's a nice feature to um, move in between your applications as well. Now, another thing that's really cool is that when you go into your face ID right here, you're going to have the option to set up a facial, um, you know, unlock. But you also get this option right here and get vibrate feedback or supplementary lighting. So the screen will actually turn brighter when you're in the dark. 
and if you don't want it to unlock the screen right away you can have it swipe to unlock just in case you don't want someone to see if someone's next to you you could turn it onto this option so that way they're not looking directly at what you is going to be on the screen right away you have that option to actually slide out so let me just show you what that looks like you would just lock the phone and then unlock it and then it just unlocks right away. You don't have to swipe or anything like that. So it gives you the option to swipe, which is, I think is pretty cool. Now the eighth tip that we're gonna talk about is in settings and sound. So what we're gonna do is click sound, go all the way down to advanced, and we're gonna go to sound enhancement, and then we're gonna turn on the best sound loudness. The volume speaker will actually be a little bit louder with that option turned on. Now, another thing that you may want to do is change the default sound on this phone. It doesn't sound too good. So I have it set to this one um, or this one. Yeah, that sounds a little bit more pleasant, but That one's a little bit less um, overwhelming. And you do also have the ability to change your ringtones. That's pretty much it right there for, but there's a ton of ringtones to choose from, or you could just make your own customizable ringtone. Now, another really cool thing about this phone is if you go into settings one more time, and once you get into the settings option, which I'm gonna show you right now, it's probably at the top right here. You're gonna go into about phone right here, and you're gonna locate these options right here. So you, what you do have is the option right here at the top for super zoom. And what super zoom is, it gives you ultra high pixels on photographs. This can enlarge dozens of times, even the smallest details. So you'll be able to get really good details on photos. So as you can see, when you take a photo like of a flower and such, you can enlarge those details and you will get extremely good colors even when you blow the photo up and turn it into a poster it still looks really good on ultra hd mode another thing that this phone does have is ai technology so when you're looking at something it's going to tell you if it's a building or a person or a piece of food night cloudy day and the sensor will recognize the uh, the scenario and change it to the best color option now, another thing that this phone does have is APTX audio codecs, but to get it started, just follow these instructions. So what you would go ahead and do is go to um, system and go to your, um, actually first go to about phone and go all the way down and click build number five times, then go back and go to your, uh, developer options once you're in developer options just scroll down until you see bluetooth audio codec and change that one to qualcomm aptx hd audio or aptx hd audio right here and then by default whenever you use your aptx audio headphones wireless it will give you the best quality possible when you're listening to the bluetooth audio another thing that's really cool in developer options do right here is go to theming right here the last option down below and choose if you want it to be a square circle teardrop or rectangle and you can even change the accent color associated so you can make it the blue color to the accent colors here it's going to be that blue color here at the top which is that blue color that i chose and you can see the icons are now squared off instead of the other um, rounded icon that I had before. The last thing I wanted to show you in developer options is that you can force dark mode 
on all applications, uh, no, no matter what application it is, but you have to scroll all the way down until you see force uh, dark right here. So you can see override and then it, it'll force um, dark feature to always be on the Instagram and, and the, uh, the Twitter as well. Let me just wait for that to load. Yeah, so now the, the Instagram is now dark as well. Also, the Twitter is going to be dark too, I believe. But you can do that naturally through this app. But you will force every app to be dark on that. Add user, multiple users. You can click here, add users from lock screen. So that when you want to give your phone off to a kid or something, you can just put it to the guest mode. So that whenever they ask you for their phone, your phone or something it's going to give that you that option to put it to the guest mode um, from the lock screen so um, and then when you're actually in this option here it gives you the ability to turn off the phone calls as a guest or turn them keep them on so you can keep that option off if you do so desire, if you don't want your kid answering your phone calls for you. Now, another really cool feature about this phone is that it does have this option called Smart Touch, which is pretty cool. It's like this button that you can use for two, um, you can set as recent, or you can set as home screen and lock, screen, lock the screen and control center. And then you can hide operations when there's no operations. It gives you that option to turn it on. So you get this little thing and it's going to give you your recent home screen and control center. So, you know, you get that option here and you can just play around with it. It's going to give you that option to get to your recent and you click that way. When you go back, it's going to go back and everything of that nature. So you basically set it to your own preference, but you'd kind of have to like play around with it for a full day to actually master that option. Now, another thing that they did add, which I did do like is called the um, some, these, this option right here called Intelligent Assistant. It's gonna have a ton of features in here. So you're gonna get your flip to silence. Whenever you get an incoming call, you're gonna get the anti-fake touch. So use this distance sensor to prevent misoperation of the phone in your pocket due to fabric or sliding so you could just turn that on you got the three finger fingerprint sh uh, the, the three finger screenshot now this may interfere with games so if you're gaming you may want to turn this off like PUBG or something and then you get the three fingers for your split screen and that may affect gaming as well but if you do slide up right here with three fingers, you can just get to another application right here. And I find that really helpful if you're not like in a game or something like that. So I think that's pretty, really cool option for that, that slide up here. So I'm probably going to keep that on. But that three fingers screenshot, when you slide down, it'll take a screenshot of the, um, the screen right there. And then that's pretty cool. You also do get this super uh, screenshot right here. And when you click that, it gives you the option for a long screenshot, screen recorder. You can add like funny things to it right here. So it, it makes it kind of cool. You get the lasso tool, the rectangular uh, screenshot option or the um, this one here. So just many options to choose from. You can actually draw on the screen right here. And then uh, it gives you the option to save it or undo and st stuff like that. I'm going to go out, out and exit. But I think that's a really cool feature to have these intelligent assistant options. And then you do get sensor calibration right here. Um, you can actually use the accelerometer for horizontal calibration. So it does have an accelerometer. Um, it doesn't have the gyro sensor. I I don't believe on here, but you do get jump to camera when you double click the power button and lift to wake whenever the phone is locked. You could just go ahead and lift it and it will actually unlock with your face, which is kind of cool. Now, another thing that's really cool is that this phone does give you the option to show the battery percentage at the top right corner. Uh, so right here, Sometimes I just get battery anxiety, so I keep that off, but you can go here and just click this button and it will show the battery 
the percentage at the top right corner. Another feature that I thought was really cool is that this phone does have a night mode sensor on it. So if you go right here and you tap night mode, I can just turn off, you know, some lights here and we'll get a darker shot and then and I'll, I'll compare it to like a, um, another shot. But right here, you can see that it gives you that option for night mode. And then let me just take a regular photo now. Okay, so we have those on. So let me just turn on the light so you can see that a little bit, you know, better and everything like that. And then let's go, we'll go ahead and see what this looks like. So this is without the night mode and that still looks really good. That looks really good here. Um, but let's just turn on the, the one with the night mode. You can see it's just a lot brighter right there. So it's really bright. And I think that's cool that you get that option. You get that night mode. So it's just a little bit brighter on the watch face. You get a lot brighter on the watch face, which is kind of cool. So um, that's a really cool option in my opinion. Now, another feature that they added in the camera that, um, you know, it's kind of cool is this animated GIF mode. So if you wanted to, you could actually flip the camera around, make a GIF of your face or, you know, like um, in a, a GIF, a short GIF of something and hit that button. It'll take a quick six second um, little GIF and then you save that. It's going to go right into your um, thing right here. Look, it's just making it kind of cool so that it's, it's just doing all the work for you. So it just automatically makes that GIF, which is kind of cool. Now this next tip will help out with your mobile network. If you go into settings, and then if you go into your mobile network, and if you go into right here, you get 4G calling. So definitely turn that on, because if you do, you'll get the 3G or something like that. But make sure you turn that on. And if you're in the house, you could turn on Wi-Fi calling. And Whenever you're over Wi-Fi, you will get the option to get enhanced Wi-Fi calling. Okay, guys, so now we are on the 20 um, first feature. So you hold down the screen and go to the home screen settings. And what you want to do is change the layout from four, five by four to five by five. That way you're going to get more apps here that you can choose from. And it's just going to give you more apps that can fit on the screen which is gonna give you less scrolling, uh, scrolling to do. So you could see more and do more when you have that option set. So I think that's pretty cool as well. Now you may wanna know how to change the, the wallpapers. Well, there is a really cool way to do so right here. Just go to your wallpapers, click as always right, or once right there. And you'll see this phone has some, one of the best wallpapers I've seen from any phone it just offers some original um authentic and uh, unique um, wallpapers that i've never seen before really nice and colorful really cool designs here They're, they give you a really nice vibe and then i just went ahead and downloaded wall live uh live wall from the play store and you can select from any live wallpapers here which i did go right ahead and install um some of my favorite ones already but just to show you how it works, you do get the option to choose from these wallpapers. Um, a lot of them are free. And if you don't have the app for free, just download a Google Rewards account. And basically when you download the Google Rewards, it'll basically pay for the app. Like, so you won't even have, I didn't even pay for the app. I just answered a few surveys and then the Google Rewards actually, um, I still have some money in my account right now. so use that to pay for any apps that you want to get from the play store and the last and final tip is the screen cast option in order to get that option on this phone it's not going to be on your top that notification shade so what you want to do is just type uh, screen cast here or cast screen and it's going to give you this option called cast and Right here, it says no devices were found, but you'd have to be on the Wi-Fi and then you can enable this, enable your wireless display. But thank you guys for watching. That about does it for my 25 tips and tricks for the new mobile G5. Hopefully you did find this video helpful in any way possible. If you did, make sure you guys have a great morning, afternoon, evening, and depending on where you are, have a great night. Later, crew. Peace.